Welcome to the King County Video Voters Guide, your chance to hear directly from the candidates in the November general election. Like the primary election in August, ballots will be submitted entirely by mail. Instead of going to a polling place, ballots will be sent to all registered voters. The county will send out the ballots on October 16th. In this edition, candidates on the general election ballot for the offices of King County Executive, Metropolitan King County Council, Sheriff, and the Port of Seattle Commission have been invited to participate. Each of the offices is nonpartisan. In addition, we will have representatives discussing the King County Proposition No. 1, the Veterans, Seniors, and Human Services Levy. The statements are up to two minutes long and unedited. The speakers appear on your screen in the same order as they will on the ballot. First up, King County Proposition No. 1, the Veterans, Seniors, and Human Services Levy. If approved by the voters, Proposition 1 would provide funding to support veterans and military service members and their families, seniors and their caregivers, and vulnerable populations in King County. The levy would fund capital facilities and regional health and human services to promote housing and financial stability, healthy living, and social engagement. The levy would also fund improvements to social and health systems and access to these systems. To fund the levy, the county would levy a six-year property tax of no more than $0.10 cents per thousand dollars of assessed valuation on all taxable property within the county and limiting annual increases to no more than 3.5% in the five succeeding years. My name is Ryan Milkerick. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Naval Construction Force, better known as the Seabees. In 2002, I left Kent, Washington from my duty station in Gulfport, Mississippi. And after three deployments to Iraq and losing my house in Hurricane Katrina, I had the good fortune to start a new life in King County in 2007. Then it was with the counseling program funded by this levy, the King County Veterans and Human Services levy, that I found a path towards healing, a path that has allowed me to serve again in my community with the King County Veterans Consortium, the Seattle Stand Down, and Compass Housing Alliance where I've had the honor to know hundreds of service members, veterans, families, widows, and civilians whose lives have been transformed by the levy-funded programs through housing, medical services, job training, legal assistance, counseling services for seniors, care for our caregivers and those fleeing domestic violence. Since 2005, programs funded by this levy have provided that essential link for the homeless veteran, the isolated senior, or the struggling single mother to find stability, often to serve again as leaders in our community. This has been made possible by the citizens of King County, and from my heart, I am grateful to you, and ask that you support this levy renewal that prioritizes the future of our military community, our growing senior population, and anybody needing a hand up, not a handout. For just an additional $28 a year for the typical King County homeowner, we can make immediate progress in our region's homelessness crisis and lay the foundation for the whole community to move together. Because our return from service is only half the story. The community we come back to and all of the people in it, right the rest. The county executive manages the delivery of such regional services as criminal justice, metro transit, and the maintenance of our natural resources and infrastructure. The executive also directs the local services provided to those in the unincorporated areas outside of cities. This position is elected for a four-year term. All voters in King County can vote for county executive. Hi, I'm Dow Constantine, and I am proud to serve as your King County Executive. Whether you just arrived or your family's been here for generations, this is your home. You belong here. My work as executive for our dynamic, growing region is dedicated to the idea that all of us should be able to fulfill our potential and, in doing so, give back to the community that made it possible. 
Here in King County, we have what it takes to make the American promise of equal opportunity and boundless possibility real for all people. The Voter Approved Best Starts for Kids helps families through some of life's toughest challenges, nurturing the next generation and keeping kids on a path to success. Investing in prevention and alternatives, we've reduced youth incarceration by 75% over 20 years. And partnering with Planned Parenthood, we increased access to women's health care and reduced the teen birth rate countywide by 55% in just eight years. Growth brings opportunity, but also challenges. To restore mobility, I've led investments like rebuilding the South Park Bridge, expanding passenger ferry service, and extending Sound Transit light rail north, south, east, and west. To protect our environment, I've held the line on sprawl, preserve farmlands and forests, and set ambitious targets to save our remaining open space and to fight climate change. We're tackling the homelessness and housing crises through immediate investments in affordable housing and emergency shelter with innovative services and targeted tax relief for low-income seniors. And I've proposed a renewed, expanded veterans, seniors, and human services levy with the goal that no one who served our country and no one who spent their career building this region will become homeless. I love this place where I was raised and where we're raising our little daughter, and I am determined to keep it prosperous, inclusive, and sustainable for generations to come. I'd appreciate your vote. The King County Sheriff's Office serves the law enforcement needs of residents in the unincorporated areas of King County and 12 cities in the county. The Sheriff's Office also provides police departments for the Muckleshoot Tribe, Metro Transit, and the King County International Airport. This is a nonpartisan position that serves a four-year term. All voters in King County can vote for Sheriff. Hello. I'm Mitzi Jo Hanknick. I'm running for King County Sheriff because we need a change at the top. In my 32-year career with the Sheriff's Office, I have served in every division, at every precinct, and currently as the Major commanding the Southwest Precinct. With nearly 20 years of managerial and command experience, I was also the first woman to run the King County Sheriff's Office SWAT team. I am proud to have been the first deputy to work in King County Housing alongside other public agencies and community groups to create trust, reduce fear, and promote public safety. I'm running for sheriff because law enforcement is at a crossroads. To earn your trust, we must reimagine our role in society. I want to do that with you. You deserve a leader who will listen, collaborate, and deliver results, a professional, ethical leader worthy of your trust. As sheriff, I'm committed to recruiting and hiring a workforce reflective of the communities we serve, not just talking about it. Those deputies will receive ongoing de-escalation and anti-bias training and increased access to less lethal policing tools. This is why I was the first law enforcement official to endorse Initiative 940, the de-escalation initiative. I'm also running to restore integrity to the sheriff's office. We should not be spending your limited tax dollars settling sexual harassment and discrimination lawsuits or overpaying deputies for overtime because my opponent can't or won't fix the problem. He has wasted more than $15 million in bad technology ideas, discrimination lawsuit settlements, and overpayment glitches that could have been used to make our streets safer. The Municipal League graded me outstanding, the only top rating in this race. Public safety is a team sport, and we are all on the same team. I'm Missy Jo Hanknick. Let's do this. Hello, my name is John Urquhart, and I'm your King County Sheriff. I grew up in King County, and I've been a police officer for over 40 years, and your sheriff since 2012. In the last four years, we've made great progress. The crime rate has decreased every single year, and that includes property crimes as well. We are solving more crimes than ever before since I've been sheriff. I put heart defibrillators in patrol cars, today more than 400, and that saves lives. And I've done all this while underspending my budget by $5 million. Not only that, lawsuits and claims are down by 10%, while payouts have gone down by more than two-thirds during my time in office. That saved millions of dollars. I want the sheriff's office to be a mirror of the community, which means hiring more women and persons of color. 
And we are doing that more than at any time in our history and without lowering our standards. But there is still much more to do. I want deputies to use force as the last resort, not the first. I want all deputies to have body cameras so the public will know what really happened during an encounter with the police. I want to increase the training of my deputies to deal with persons in mental crisis from eight hours, which is the standard, to 40 hours, and that's the gold standard. Finally, I pledge to hold deputies accountable for their actions, including those in command. As I've done for the last four years, I won't hesitate to terminate those who tarnish the badge. The public demands that, as do I. It's an honor and a privilege to be a police officer. It's a noble profession, and the public demands high standards. I want you to be as proud of the King County Sheriff's Office as I am. My name is John Urquhart, and I would be honored to have your vote. Thank you. As the legislative branch of county government, the Metropolitan King County Council sets the policies, enacts the laws, and adopts the budgets that guide the largest jurisdiction in Washington State. Its mission is to protect public health and safety, enhance quality of life, and ensure public trust. In 2008, voters made this a nonpartisan position. Members are elected for four-year terms. This year, five of the nine council positions are on the ballot. My name is King County Council Member Kathy Lambert. I'm running for re-election to represent the people of King County District 3, which includes communities of Redmond, Issaquah, Sammamish, Skykomish, Duval, Carnation, Snoqualmie, North Bend, Preston, Fall City, parts of Woodenville, and the unincorporated areas of East King County. I've worked hard for District 3, and I've been proud of many accomplishments. These include bringing safe place to King County. Safe Place is a program that offers refuge to teens who are involved in traumatic situations. We've been also going to be piloting a new program called TRACE, which stands for Timely Response for Adverse Childhood Experiences. This pilot will provide support to our first responders whenever they have a case that involves trauma and a child. And we will give these children the support they need at that moment and up to eight weeks. Also, during the last budget cycle, I was on the negotiating committee and instrumental in preserving funding for the helicopter, which the sheriffs use for rescues all across this county, and making sure that there was funding for additional sheriff's deputies. I'm also a vigorous advocate of government that is both efficient and effective. And I'm proud that King County has the highest bond rating available to any government because of our good fiscal management. I'd be happy to come to any meeting and speak about these and many other issues. So please feel free to email me, kathy at kathylambert.com. And please remember to vote for me. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Murphy. I'm running for King County Council because the East Side is my home and I've grown concerned with the future we are leaving for our children and grandchildren. We need to fix our crumbling infrastructure and reduce commutes. We need sensible development that expands access while preserving our environment. We need to work smarter with limited resources. I'm running because people shouldn't have to choose between sitting in traffic and spending time with their families. And your council members should make it easier to get to work, not harder. Too often it feels like the career politicians aren't listening to us. We cannot accept further attempts to cut our already decimated roads budget. Effort to pit one group against the other or calls for repealing the Open Public Meetings Act. We need a council member who makes it easier to get around the county, someone we can rely on to stand up for seniors, and someone who applies the focus that is actually needed to resolve the issues that matter to our community. I've devoted my career to public service, where I lived and breathed the importance of maintaining focus and delivering results. As Deputy Fire Chief at Eastside Fire and Rescue, 
I worked with city planners to make the streets more accessible for emergency responders. As CEO of the National Traffic Safety Institute, I streamlined systems to improve financial accountability. And as your council member, I'll fight for equitable funding of our roads, innovative solutions to reduce traffic, and more transparency in the political process. I will champion expanding services for seniors. I will defend workers' pensions and benefits. And I will make sure that our funding priorities are consistent with our changing population. I'm asking for your vote because you deserve a council member who remains focused on delivering common sense results. Hello, my name is Reagan Dunn, and it has been my privilege to be your advocate on the King County Council. I was raised right here in our district, and my two children are the fourth generation of my family to live in it. I'm proud, very proud, to have earned the endorsement of all nine nonpartisan mayors in the district, in addition to many prominent Republicans and Democrats. I've also been honored as Washington State's outstanding local elected official of the year. Now, county government faces very significant challenges, and I will work hard to give law enforcement the tools they need to reduce crime, and I will fight to keep your property taxes low. I'm very concerned about the growing traffic congestion where we live, and I support increasing capacity on our roads and support more transit to further help alleviate our traffic problems. I'm also committed to finding solutions to our regional homelessness problem, and I will continue to help those who suffer from drug and alcohol addiction. Now, while I believe that those suffering from addiction should receive the treatment they desperately need, I do not support placing open, illegal heroin injection sites into our community, and I will fight as your councilman to keep them out. In short, I will use my knowledge of the district, combined with years of private sector and government experience, to help King County continue its path toward a more efficient, and accountable government. My name is Reagan Dunn. I work for you, and I appreciate your vote. Hi, I'm Denise Carnahan, running for King County Council District 9. I love living in King County. It's such an incredible place. As it continues to grow and our cost of living increases, I want to make sure that those of us who live here today can continue to live here tomorrow. We need to make sure that growth and quality of life are in balance. As your next council member, I plan to have an office in the district, and my top priority will be to make sure that you are well represented on all issues. After talking with many of you from Bellevue to Enumclaw, transportation is a common theme that requires some serious attention. Our district has been underserved for far too long. Those of us who have paid into Sound Transit for 20 years are getting a very low return on our investment. Let's increase mass transit options, remove bottlenecks, and explore creative solutions like water taxis. Taxes are also another pressing issue. We want to make sure that our tax dollars are being used wisely. We also want to ensure that reasonable homeowner exemptions are available for those in need. We should strive to support small businesses that are the backbone of our economy. Crime, addiction, and homelessness are growing issues in the district. Let's address the root cause of these problems and find cost-effective solutions for them. Throughout my 37-year career here in King County, I have been a problem solver. That is what I did for over 18 years in the corporate world and have been doing for more than 18 years as a business owner and registered investment advisor. I'm an elected precinct committee officer, I lead hikes on Cougar Mountain, and I garden at the Sustainable Renton Community Farm, all located right here in the 9th District. 
Bottom line, it's time for new energy and vision. With your support, I will bring my proven track record of finding win-win solutions and offer a new financial perspective to the King County Council. Together, we can create a community where everyone thrives. I would be honored to represent you and would appreciate your vote. It's called the Port of Seattle, but the port is actually a county-wide municipal corporation that operates SeaTac Airport and the Marine Terminals with a focus on economic development for the region. Five commissioners are elected at large by all voters in King County. This year, three of these seats appear on the general ballot. They are positions one, three, and four. Commission members are elected to four-year terms. These are nonpartisan positions. All voters in King County can vote for Port Commissioner. Hello, my name is John Creighton. I've been honored to serve you as your Port Commissioner in position one. Four years ago, my colleagues and I developed a plan to add 100,000 new port-related jobs to our region and we've been executing on that plan ever since. We have the fastest growing airport in the country three years in a row. Our cruise terminals continue to set records and vessels home ported at our fishing terminals account for over 40% of the domestic seafood consumed in the United States. Moreover, our Marine Cargo Alliance with the Port of Tacoma is winning back cargo and winning back jobs. These are good paying port jobs that you can support families on and it's more important now, more than ever, that we keep them in our region as Seattle becomes less and less affordable. But it's more than just about jobs creation. I've worked to make sure that the prosperity created by the port is broadly shared across our communities through our small business and our workforce development programs. And I've worked to make sure that the port is true to our goal to be the greenest, most energy efficient port in North America, minimizing our impact on the environment and on surrounding communities. As your port commissioner, I've championed reform measures leading to better oversight of taxpayer funds, including implementation of a commission audit committee and an independent internal audit program that has saved the port and the taxpayers over $8 million. I've worked to find collaborative solutions to regional issues and to bring people together. I'm honored to have the support of Democrats, of Republicans, independents, business leaders, labor unions, environmentalists, and transportation advocates. I'm John Creighton, and I ask for your support and your vote on November 7th. Hi, I'm Ryan Calkins, and I believe it's time for new leadership at our port. We need a strong voice for the environment and family wage jobs, and we deserve transparency in the management of one of our region's most important economic assets. For nearly a decade, I ran our family business, a ceramic tile importer in Georgetown that relied on the Port of Seattle. We took pride in providing fair wages and were named one of Seattle's greenest businesses by Seattle City Light. Last year, I made a career change, devoting myself to public service. I now work for Ventures, a nonprofit in the Rainier Valley that helps women and minority-owned businesses start and grow. That spirit of service and opportunity will guide me as port commissioner. Our port deserves leaders who operate with the highest of ethics and demands the same from port staff, who value our long-term environmental well-being over short-term economic gains, and who reflect our county's commitment to opportunity for all. I am honored to have the endorsement of district democratic organizations, the Sierra Club, business and labor leaders because of my commitment to protecting middle-class jobs and my experience leading a sustainable business. I'm a strong voice for the environment and family wage jobs, and I will fight for transparency in all levels of government. With me as your port commissioner, you'll never have to doubt my values. I'm Ryan Calkins. I'm running for the port commission, and I would be honored to have your vote. The Port of Seattle is an essential piece of our community's heritage and economic strategy. 
but it must adapt and innovate to be part of our region's future. Our goals for our people's port must be to protect air and water quality with the highest environmental standards, to create good middle-class jobs with living wages and benefits so our workers have economic stability and can prosper, and to remain a global port of entry open to people from all over the world, rejecting closed borders and discrimination. In order to protect and grow middle-class jobs on our waterfront, I led the campaign to form the historic partnership with the Port of Tacoma. Together, we now collaborate rather than compete to keep cargo and jobs in our region instead of going to Canada or Los Angeles. I spearheaded the creation of an innovative new internship program in partnership with industry in Seattle Public Schools to provide hundreds of disadvantaged youth with well-paid internships so they get exposure to potential careers. My other priorities have been to provide new opportunities for workers to advance their careers through enhanced job training and apprenticeship programs, to ensure the future of the Alaska fishing fleet so the next generation of fishing vessels is built in Washington, not out of state, and to manage the growth of the port sustainably, including bringing aviation biofuels to SeaTac Airport, cleaning up stormwater on our marine terminals, and fighting for oil train safety through our communities. There is more to be done. I would be honored to have your support to continue this work. I'm pleased to have the sole endorsement of the Washington Conservation Voters, the King County Labor Council and Building Trades, Women's Political Caucus, Longshoremen and Sailors Union of the Pacific, and dozens of local mayors and community leaders throughout King County. I would appreciate your support as well. Hi, my name is Ahmed Abdi. I live here in King County with my wife and children. I'm passionate about protecting working people's rights and our environment. As a refugee from violent and civil war in Somalia, I will lay awake at night in Kenya refugee camp with the belief that anyone who comes here and works hard can achieve the American dream. Now, as a proud citizen, I'm running for Port of Seattle Commissioner as a candidate for change. It's clear that the port and many current commissioners are blocking the road to the American dream for many others. I worked hard to help pass the 15 minimum wage in SeaTac while the port commissioners fought against providing paid sick leave, job protection, and living wage for thousands of airport workers. As an outreach manager at Fair Work Center and a commissioner for Seattle Housing Authority, I fight for working communities directly impacted by the port pollution. My opponent voted to let the shale oil drilling platform here in our beautiful Bridget Sound. As the next port commissioner, I will work to ensure that the port continues to create living wage jobs, improve the lives of our workers, protect our clean air and water, and ensure our port officials are accountable to the public. That's why I'm proud to be endorsed by Congresswoman Pramila J. Bal, State Senate Rebecca Saldania, State Senate Pop Hasagawa, The Stranger, Seattle Weekly, Union Like, Timmy Star 7, Local 117, SEIU 775, King County Democrats, and many more. I hope you will join them and support our campaign. Thank you and God bless you. Hello, I'm Preeti Sridhar and I'm seeking your vote for Port of Seattle Commission position number four. I'm a leader with the vision, skills and commitment to bring people together to find solutions and make our port work for all of us. I've worked in public service for 25 years and I've built strong relationships with the cities, businesses and community organizations in King County. I've been endorsed by The Stranger, The Urbanist, the National Women's Political Caucus, six local mayors, and community leaders from throughout King County. I stand for integrity, and I will make sure that port decisions are open and transparent. I will listen to all sides to inform those decisions, and I will be accountable to you. I will promote economic inclusion, supporting opportunities for small businesses and I will work so that everyone benefits from growth at the airport and seaport. 
I will make sure our economy remains strong and we maintain our leadership in the aviation, maritime and tourism industries. I helped introduce Seattle's Climate Protection Initiative as well as its conservation and recycling programs. Our port can do more to adopt innovative programs like these. I will work to make our airport the first in the nation to provide biofuel so we can protect our planet and our airport communities even as we grow. And I will work to minimize the environmental impacts of growth at SeaTac Airport. I will sustain and create living wage jobs in our community, building career pathways for young people so they can get good paying jobs and support their families. And I will vote to cut the port tax levy to reduce property taxes for everyone in King County. I'd be honored to serve you. I'm Preeti Sridhar and I ask for your vote. Thank you. Hello, I'm Peter Steinbrook, candidate for Seattle King County Port Commission. You may remember my past public service on the Seattle City Council, or if you were here in the 1970s, my family's role in saving the Pike Place Market when I learned my important civics lessons. My key priorities for the port are simple, good jobs, greening the port, and good governance. Equitable, high-paying port jobs come first. The port is a huge job creator and economic engine for the region and state where one-third of all local jobs are trade dependent. To remain competitive with other West Coast ports, our Northwest Seaport Alliance needs the strong experienced leadership that I will bring to protect and grow these good livable wage jobs. Second, climate change is real. I want to green the port. The port's operations and facilities at SeaTac Airport and our shipping terminals create an enormous environmental footprint that impacts neighboring communities and the planet. We must do all we can to reduce air, water, and noise pollution. It's my goal to make the Port of Seattle the greenest port in America. Finally, the port is a public authority, supported by your tax dollars. To achieve these important goals and advance its ambitious century agenda, there must be greater public confidence and trust in the port's governance. In my past public service, I've appointed highly capable civic leaders, strengthened ethical practices, and managed big city budgets always openly and transparently. I will bring that kind of strong, honest leadership to the port. I'm pleased to have been endorsed by Attorney General Bob Ferguson, Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib, Sheriff John Urquhart, Earth Day environmental champion Dennis Hayes, civil rights leader Lem Howell, and many of our local state legislators, including Reuben Carlisle, Judy Cliburn, Joan McBride, and Tina Orwall, and Alaska Pacific Fleet Fisherman Pete Knutson. I'm Peter Steinbrook, candidate for Port Commission. I would be honored to have your vote. You've just seen all the video statements submitted by candidates and ballot measure representatives for offices and issues on the King County portion of the ballot. For Seattle Mayor, City Attorney, City Council, and School Board candidates, watch the City of Seattle edition of the Video Voter's Guide. This program is a collaboration of the Seattle Ethics and Elections Commission, the Seattle Channel, King County Elections, and King County TV. Again, this will be a mail-in election. Instead of going to a polling place, ballots will be sent to all registered voters. Look for your ballot in the mail after October 18th. And vote and return it by Tuesday, November 7th. Ballots can be returned via U.S. mail or at one of King County's secured ballot drop boxes. Ballots must be postmarked by November 7th. You can track the progress of your ballot online and find the location of drop boxes by visiting King County Elections at kingcounty.gov elections. Thanks for joining us. We'd like to hear from you about the Video Voter's Guide. To comment on this guide, please call 206-684-8500 or email ethicsandelections at seattle.gov.